Not sure what to do this weekend? We've got a few suggestions. St. Joe Live's Andrew Gogg has this week's top five. While we patiently wait for Halloween this season, there's a lot to do in the area. Let's check it out with this week's top five. If you're looking to carve some pumpkins, Mokaska Coffee will be hosting a pumpkin carving party tonight at 7 p.m. Pumpkins are $10 each and come hollowed out. Supplies will also be provided. It is open to all ages. For its first chamber concert of the season, the St. Joseph Symphony will be featuring its woodwind section. The light, easygoing concert will be held at 3 p.m. on Sunday at Ashland United Methodist Church. Admission is $15 to $30. It is open to all ages. And you can break the fall blues when you go see the band The Motors at 8 p.m. on Saturday at Magoon's. The show is open to everyone 21 and older. If you're looking to show off your Super Smash Brothers skills, Club Geek will be hosting a spooky Smash tournament where people can play the game against others and participate in a costume contest. It will start at 7.30 p.m. on Saturday, and it is open to everyone 21 and older. And there's only one movie in theaters this weekend, but it's a big one. Michael Myers once again faces off with Laurie Strode in the final film of this new Halloween trilogy with the horror film Halloween Ends. And if you're not looking forward to seeing people getting slashed, the romantic comedy Rosaline stars Caitlin Deaver as Romeo's jilted ex as she experiences the Romeo and Juliet story from the sidelines. The PG-13 movie is available to stream now on Hulu. To see everything that's going on in the area, check out St. Joe Live every Thursday and Friday in the St. Joseph News Press or anytime at newspressnow.com. And you can join me next week as we go through a series of spooky events with the top five. Until then, have a great and safe weekend, and we will see you later. <laughs>